everyone! It is a beautiful, chilly autumn day here in Mystic Colony with our young cat, Creek, who is actually going to be sticking her nose out of the uh, little den that she has. I absolutely love that the cats in Mystic Colony get a den made out of a tree stump, by the way. That is just the coolest thing. I wonder how the cats in other colonies actually have their dens. It definitely might be worth it to go and possibly spy on some of the other colonies and see how they live. That might be a pretty cool thing for Creek to do, especially because she is so intensely curious. But for now, I'm actually a little bit concerned because I realized, you guys, it is autumn the 8th. That means that it is about to get very, very cold and we might have some snow on the ground pretty soon. And I don't know if we have enough prey to really be able to reliably survive through the whole winter. So I don't know about the Savannah. What are we going to do? Howdy, Creek. It's been a while. How have things been? Oh, Savannah, we talked just yesterday. I'm so kind of tickled that she thinks it's been a while because it's almost like, oh, we're best friends. I can't wait to talk to you every morning. Do you like it here in Mystic Colony? There's some really strange cats that hang around here, but they're mostly nice if you get to know them. For all I know, I can be one of those strange cats. And actually, I, I love that. I love that. I love that Creek and Savannah might spend their mornings maybe grooming one another and just talking about all of the mysteries of Mystic Colony. And I feel like when Savannah asks that question now of, uh, do you like being in Mystic Colony? It's the question that Creek is actually taking a lot more seriously. Does she like being in Mystic Colony? Why hasn't she tried to return to her old home? Is this home now? I think that question would kind of upset her a little bit, but we'll keep her focused on the mysteries and the legends and rumors and lore of the land instead of wondering if this is going to be her new home. I don't know if she's made enough friends here to really be able to count it as that, but let's come talk to Mossy. Oh good, our friendship is going up with Mossy a little bit. You know, you've always got such interesting stories of wandering around the colony territory, Creek. Ooh, this is a good point. I wonder if Creek and Mossy hang out and Creek tells Mossy all about her conspiracy theories over the way different prey items are connected and that talking totem. I bet Mossy loved hearing that story about the magical talking totem that we ran into. You're such an adventurous cat. Your stories are even better than the ones the clouds tell sometimes. Oh, thank you, Mossy. Oh, and there's Nile. Okay, do I have anything that he might like? We have fish. We have toads. We might try giving him some of those things because we learned if you give him any of the birds, he gets very upset. And we don't have a single bird on us, so we're in the clear. All right, Nile. Oh, hi. You startled me. How are you today? Which of the four seasons do you enjoy the most? I prefer spring over any other season. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe if we become his friend, he'll tell us why. Uh, all right, let's try giving him a nice toad and let's see how he reacts. This is for me? Thank you for your kind gesture. I appreciate this. Yay! Okay, so he seems to be very happy with the, the toad. I hope that it was a really good thing. Oh, and we're gonna go ahead and give Mossy a nice smelly valerian. There we go. Me? Hmm? Why do you have... Oh, is this for me? Thank you. There we go. So Mossy's happy. Hey, Crampy, how you doing? You know, we've been giving Crampy a lot of the poison berries, but he doesn't really seem to react to them very much. So let's dodge the leeches that he is trying to put on our tail for the day. And yeah, he and we're going to go ahead and let's try giving him... We're going to try giving him a trout, I think, because I'm really curious. Well, actually, let's try a southern damselfly let's try giving him a damselfly and seeing what happens if he likes leeches maybe he likes damselflies uh no he doesn't like it <laughs> all right point taken point taken let's go ahead and eat our turtle by the way holy moly that was a really good turtle okay well ah uh, all right looks like we definitely need to do a little bit more work to become friends with the cats and the colony oh and there's slip let's try oh he likes dragonflies he's slip Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? I always see you darting back and forth through Town Creek. What are you up to this time? All right, Slip, let's go ahead and give you... Well, my brown hawker is kind of rare. I don't... I, it, we're going to give him a golden seal and see how he reacts to this. Very nice. Okay, he took the gift well. Let's come give Oracle a nice flower just because we can. Uh, visions of the future. Let us see what the stars portend. The sky sends its chill to greet the earth. Tomorrow will bring snow to be certain. <gasps> we are gonna have snow! Oh my goodness, I hope- No, Oracle, wait! I'm gonna give you something. Here, have a smelly. 
<laughs> have a beautiful smelly plant. Okay, here, dig it. All right, let's go ahead. Oracle is displeased with your lack of understanding. Perhaps one day you will learn. Whoops, and we have upset the Oracle. Probably not a good thing to do. Let's come and give our fish to Alyssa because I feel like trying to make friends in the colony would be a really important thing to do, especially before the tough, tough time of winter. Doing well, I see. Water has been an important element of my life since I was just a kitten. The wetlands are home to me, but I love the beach as well. <gasps> Alyssa! Oh my goodness! I sense, I sense the, the, the foreboding footsteps of perhaps a little plot twist here. Oh my gosh, she loves water and the beach too? Little did I know it that Alyssa might actually be the one who holds all of the secrets to water and the swimming cats that Creek is searching for. <gasps> I'm so excited so much. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm so excited so much. Oh my gosh, Sari, like wonderful use of the English language there. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. All right, let's give her the salmon because it's rare. Oh my, how did you know I love this? Thank you, Creek. Yay! Oh my gosh! Okay, can I give her two presents in a day? Does that do anything? Can I give her this trout? I'm gonna give her this trout too. All right, I hope that worked. I am so excited. I have offended the Oracle. That's probably never a good thing to do. Savannah is hanging out over there. And guys, this is awesome. Alyssa knows some of the secrets of what it takes to be a swimming cat. Of course she would as the leader. Oh my goodness, I walked right into this. Back off, Forest Colony! Why are you being so fierce? Why are you fighting us so much lately? We won! We won! Good job, Angel! Good job, Laura! Nice to run into you out here. Good job, Slate! Oh, good. Tabitha, congratulations to all of you. Tabitha, do you want to say something really quickly? Please, let me know if you spot anything scary where you're going. That way I can stay a safe distance away. Oh, poor Tabitha seems a little bit nervous about things, but that was really interesting. Okay, so we kind of accidentally, but very coolly, just walked into a awesome battle and managed to uh, help claim a little bit more colony territory. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. The swamp border is 100% mystic colony territory. It seems there's another battle going down by the southern area. We might participate in that, but really, I think with news of snow coming, Creek is just going to try to gather as many things as she possibly can from the surrounding areas today. And because we have picked over so many of the plants, oh, frog, 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 don't run away, don't run away. Yes, all right, we got a frog. Oh, and there's a little fish. There's a little fish. Let's go get it. Okay, come back, little fish. No, I need to get you. All right, how do you, is this? Ah, I missed it. All right. I feel like we were getting a little bit closer though. I'm sure as she learns how to swim better, we'll be able to dive after fish that are further in the water. But yes, with news of winter coming, uh, winter and snow coming, I do think Creek would be a little bit more concerned and she would want to be uh, gathering up whatever resources she can find. But just like Forest Colony, what are you doing, Forest Colony cat? <gasps> They're coming to steal our resources, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole new battle. Not good, 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 not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Right by the skin of our teeth. Oh my gosh, we are so beat up. What the heck? What the heck? I cannot believe this, but we have managed to survive the day. I'm gonna go ahead and eat our toad. I can't believe that Forest Colony just attacked us right over here. I wasn't expecting that. What? All right, well, we gained a little bit more reputation for our colony over here. But you guys, I think that's a good example that all of the colony cats are starting to canvas the areas around their homes and their territories, trying to gather up what resources they can find in preparation for winter. And that's where there's a lot of fierce competition coming because we don't really have as many resources as usual in our territory. So you have to start wandering outside of your own home. You have to start searching left and right and all over the place where there's other cats who might fight you for it. Let's go ahead and try healing up a little bit more. Treats wounds over time. Oh boy, we really took some bad damage there. Thank goodness there's more goldenrod over here. It doesn't heal up nearly as much as you would hope either, just like the tiniest bit. So we're just gonna use it to kind of patch ourselves up enough to go hunting for more, hunting for more food, hunting for more resources. But that's probably why Forest Colony has been fighting us so much. I bet they're low on resources in their territory. So they're trying to tread into our territory in an attempt to find enough food and enough prey to get them through the winter. Well, 
we can start wandering further away from our territory now that we have the return home ability. So I'm totally going to do that and I'm gonna take all their rabbits. Yes, all right, got a rabbit, good. Hopefully we'll be able to eat enough. I'm so worried we won't be able to survive the winter. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to. There's another rabbit. All right, little guy. You're about to become my dinner. No. Okay, go. Come on, get it. Ah, dang it. All right, that rabbit got away. But at least there's a little squirrel. Yes, all right, got the squirrel. So we're, we'll survive. Oh, and it's 10 p.m. So Cookie Cat, one of our amazing community members, pointed out to me a very nifty fact I didn't really know, even though I should have been paying attention to it, that you want to get your cat back home and you want to get them in bed and sleeping before 11 p.m. If you go to bed after 11 p.m., your cat will actually wake up at 11 a.m. the next day. But if we go ahead and we go to sleep right now, at 10.40, we should wake up at a decent time in the morning. Ta-da! Eight in the morning, much better. Much, much better than the time that we kept waking up. And we're healed up quite a bit from the battle that Creek had to take on unexpectedly. We're gonna go ahead, uh, well, she really loves her toad, so let's go ahead and eat this little squirrel instead. And do I have a banded darter? I do have a banded darter and I do have a brown hawker in our pile of things already. Um, I think we have everything, including the catnip. Yep, we even have catnip. Wonderful, wonderful. We don't have a rabbit, so I'm gonna leave behind the extra prey that we might manage to catch. And we're going to drop it into our little personalized prey pile inside of our den. I mean, we're willing to share with any of the cats in the colony who might need it, but I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't really wanna advertise that fact just yet. Let's see, and I already have yeah, I already have the berries, so we can give away and sell everything else. That should be safe. All right, well, whew, is it snowing? <gasps> it's snowing! It's snowing, you guys! Oh my gosh, look at this! Wow! Creek, your first snow in Mystic Colony. Are the other cats awake that we can talk about this? Savannah, what do you think about this? Hey, Creek, what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot! <laughs> oh my gosh! Savannah, oh my goodness, yeah, I think you're turning into more of kind of like a silly sister friendship than a romance like I originally thought you and Creek would have for sure. Look, we have five stars with her now. I'm so excited. I think we're best friends with Savannah and she may be one of the serious reasons, despite her bad jokes, that Creek would not want to leave Mystic Colony. All right, good to know, good to know. Mossy, how are you doing today? And then let's see. The other day, a cat came by smelling so strongly of fish. My head was spinning. All right, I don't think she likes fish, so that's good to note. Let's go ahead and give her some valerian. Yay! All right, so she's happy with the valerian. And let's go ahead and go over to Alyssa. Do I have anything I can give Alyssa? I do have catnip. Let's try giving Alyssa some catnip today. Hi there. Doing well, I see. Do you think you'll be going to the Autumn Festival? <gasps> the Autumn Festival's tomorrow? Oh man, yeah, I'll be going to that. It's tomorrow at the Sacred Temple if you'd like to attend. All right, have to remember you cannot collect up stuff after the Autumn Festival because it boots you straight back home. All right, let's go ahead and grab the catnip and give that to her as a gift. Oh my, this is extraordinary, Creek. I'm very grateful for your kindness. This is an exceptional gift. Oh, <gasps> truly? Yay, we finally found something that Alyssa really truly loves. Oh my goodness, I am so relieved. All right, Alyssa, anything else to tell us? Let's see. Uh, no, she's just gonna talk to us about the Autumn Festival now. That's just fine, all right. And let's try giving Crampy. I mean, what the heck would that cranky cat like? <laughs> he doesn't really seem to react to anything. So I'm gonna try giving Crampy some blackberries today. It's kind of fun having to really work hard to discover the various things that they would enjoy. All right, let's go ahead. Nope, doesn't like blackberries, noted. And then Neil, I wish I had something to give him, but I don't think he likes any of the things that we've got on us. Hmm. All right, I'll just have to like sell, I'm gonna sell everything that we have. And now I know I don't have to save Muse in preparation for the Autumn Festival, but how exciting, guys! The Autumn Festival is coming up. I have no idea what is going to be on offer, but hopefully we'll be able to earn more festival coins to spend. Whoops, want to save... I think I'm going to go ahead and save these, but everything else I'll sell. There we go. 
Wonderful. Thank you, Savannah. All right, guys. Well, let's go down and see what we can find by the beach today since time passes so quickly. And the next time we'll be able to enjoy the autumn festival together. I think that's going to be so exciting to see what's going to happen. What's going to be... Oh, I walked right into this. I walked right into this. Not our weeping tree. This is special. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've got to run for it. This isn't going to work. Haley's coming to kill me. Nope. Okay, we've got to drag ourselves back up. <laughs> the battles with Forest Colony are getting so fierce. We could die. We could die if this happened again. Hurry, treat me fully crampy. I'm going to go back into battle. I feel like, I feel like, ooh, I think there might be a good plot twist about to happen, you guys. All right, Creek is going to run back into battle. She's refusing to give up on this. Clearly, the forest colony cats are extremely intense. She has grabbed a snake lily. I'm not sure how I feel about using this, but the snake lily is a poisonous flower and it applies a toxin to your claws for a short time. I think we're going to go ahead and use it. All right, claws are poisoned for 10 seconds. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, I can't believe we did that. Oh my gosh. Look how strong it makes you. I can't believe that. What? Are you kidding me? We actually started using the poison. Oh my goodness, and we won the battle. I have no idea. I think Creek would feel really conflicted, but like to save her own life at the last moments, she grabbed and kind of ran across the poison lily flower and, and used her claws on that. I think she has entered a slightly darker side reminiscent of what her father what her father once did with his killing bite and now she knows an entirely new burden that a warrior has to take on when they are defending their territory oh my goodness what deep thoughts what what twist i feel like maybe wild slash would be a good thing for her to learn i feel like she should have earned something special from that maybe not lion's roar Maybe deep cuts? That might be interesting. Probably not mortal wound. I feel like mortal wound would be too much for her, but maybe wild slash. We'll go ahead and say wild slash because she got so frantic and she panicked. She got the poison on her claws and she attacked. So we're going to unlock wild slash. There we go. Another new skill learned in the attempts to help her survive life here in the wild. And it's a it's a heavy one. It comes with a big burden. Sometimes blood on her claws, no less. But we'll have to see who will be there to help Creek cope with this new aspect of herself that we're going to have to deal with. And forever, I feel like the borders are safe because of what we just did. Thank you very much. <laughs> But let's actually look and see. I, I hope that her sacrifice of learning how to be slightly more cruel did help a little bit. Yep, Weeping Root is 100% controlled by uh, our colony now. That's the way things should be. But all right, guys, we'll come back after Creek has a brief break to think about what she thinks of having to turn to a slightly darker side of life and using things like a poison on her claws in order to protect her colony territory. If she identifies with that sacrifice enough to feel like she belongs to the colony and it's justified to do something so dangerous and deadly to other cats, and hopefully we will enjoy the Autumn Festival for a good shift in all of the mood and the atmosphere of what our poor young cat is going through. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.